What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part we did none of then uh made it to Mulville. I abruptly ended the last part early, but uh there's a certain scene that happens in Mulville, so I guess uh we could uh kinda hear Bowser's laugh. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest, baddest brute around it. Don't you forget it. But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. You have my name to keep up, you know. Let's show him who's boss around here. So yeah, Bowser is basically trying to get back into his castle. However, if we go in here... Oh dear, I'm sure they I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how you're feeling, but moping around you know, gotta help a thing. I know what I said, but I don't think I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See that up there? That's the old interest in the mines. We can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow uh, Mario were here, you can reach that in a heartbeat. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil. Well, then, it'll be a Goomba's uncle. If it ain't him, the flesh, Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, have you heard the news? What news? Well, Dinah took her little brother into the mines so they could play. And then a huge star crashed into the mountain, causing a big cave, and now they're trapped inside. And now their daddy went looking for him, and is trapped too. Mario, will you help rescue them? Of course. Thanks, Mario, we'll leave the entrance up there. Up on our shoulders. So yeah, we're in the mole mines, and uh... New enemy, and uh, these enemies right here... Are Magmites. They have high, high amounts of defense. And most of the time, if you kill them, it will kill, it will trigger a lucky, this is the blah bomb, they can explode on command, and... These enemies right here, the clusters, if you hit them with special moves, they'll try to use a move that will insta-kill you, so, uh... I just sent out the Magnets first. That... Got lucky, which means we're gonna get a uh, bonus at the end of this battle. And Mario also killed them, so, uh, yeah. Both Mario and Gino have the work pants, so that should help, and, uh... Mallow has the symbols, which, uh, let's just say, uh, helps, uh, does increase his attack rate. He doesn't have the warp pants, though, but, um... Anyways, let's, let's double x3. This is drastically easier in the remake, so I'd suggest jumping this at every opportunity. But yeah, it's it, you, if you watch it, you can get it every time in the only in the remake, let's just say. This is much harder, it's more random in the original, so I like how they fix this in the remake, because it lets you get a lot more XP. And Gino got to level up! I didn't get another XP uh, thing, but uh, anyway, so, my goal is for Gino to get at least level A, however, he's got higher attack than magic, so all of Gino's level ups are going to be physical level ups, because Gino's purpose is that he's a physical attacker, basically. He has some good special moves that he'll learn, but... Anyway, so he's, he's got some good special moves, basically, but, uh, Gino's mainly a physical attacker, however, uh, I'm gonna do a little speed up the footage. There are some enemies in the surrounding area that I'd like to take out, except I'm gonna speed up the footage and maybe play some background music, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And, uh, Mario's at level 8, and, uh, again, he's gonna be a physical level upper. And Mallow's gotta level up, uh, he's got, he's at level 8, and again, it's gonna be magic. That seems to be just about all the enemies we can really 
Like, at least most of them, but, uh... Yeah, I think I'm good for speeding up the forge. I just want to get some level ups, and, uh... If we look at Gino's stats, uh, he's pretty close to level 8, so... We want him to get to level 8 so he learns a new move, let's just say, so... So, I guess both entrants are blocked, so, uh... We go over here... Coins, beautiful coins, grab the coins. Listen up, leave this daft with Mario when Caitlyn's played, and we got beef with that. So, yeah, Croco's back. Mario, Croco got us again. He took our coins too, let's chase him down to get them back. So, yeah, we have to chase Croco down. Yo, oh, who boy, looks like you didn't hear me, not to worry. Yeah, we got a bomb. Then we leave home without um. So yeah, we have to chase Croco down. Anyway, so we got that out of our system. And Croco got out the other exit. So uh, I guess what we can do now is uh, chase him down. If you kill his, uh, things, uh, if you kill his cronies, you get a flower tap for each one you kill, but, uh... Yes, this is the second fight with Croco, so, uh... I don't think he has the same weakness to fire he does the first time, so I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, he, he does, actually, but, uh, let's thought peek him again. Yeah, he has, like, 618 this time. However, like, fire isn't going to really do as well as it did the first time, so I suggest just using normal attacks. Like, yeah, like, pun the punch did, uh, the, the punch club did more damage than, uh, fire or fireball, so, uh, it was called fire orb in the original, so that, I, I, get, I get the two mixed up here and there. So, yeah, when Crocodile gets kind of pissed at one point, he takes all your items. You want them back? You guys me out first. So, yeah, we can't use any items anymore, so, uh... Yeah, that's that they can tell he's almost down. He's gonna throw and when he does like monster toss, that's how you can tell he's almost down. Oh wow, that's the second time I attack miss, actually. Enough already. Here's your junk. I'm out of here. And Gino's actually almost a level up. Got the to pick up a micro bomb, so we have to figure out where to use that. However, there's one area we have not explored yet. However, um. I'll save it for a bit, but uh, I won't fight these two enemies. These enemies can live in peace, if it's safe. Yeah, this is where the guy is. Seems like he found something mighty useful, like his dynamite trap back there. Let's blast through and find him. God, woohoo, thanks, Mario. Pull the tracks to the end. What? The star is probably in the back. Let's move you along now. Oh, guess you're right. I guess it'd be a burden on you fellas, but then I'm counting you to find the kids in the air. Well, thanks a lot, Mario. I guess I'll be going back to tell Bob about everything. So yeah, we don't get another party member, so uh... I want to reposition those blah bombs because there's a star man over there, and uh... Oh yeah! Level up! We didn't get exactly, oh my god, we, we didn't get exactly the bottom. We got a level up, and uh, Gino's level 8 and he learns Gino Boost. Thank god. Gino Boost basically, if you time it right, it will upper your attack and defense stats. So I think it's one of Gino's best moves in the game. Skip over those enemies, and uh, yeah, it's we're right at the end of the area, so I'm not going to save just yet, but uh, 
We're right at the end of the uh, mole mine, so uh, we got flower right there. So uh, other items. Do we have any? Uh, okay, we, don't have any, we didn't pick up any of the flower tabs though. But um, anyway, so um, we're gonna check out this guy. He's actually the boss. Good day. The name's Punchinello, bomb maker extraordinaire. Punchinello, never heard of ya. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You, you will make me famous. So long. So yeah, we're gonna Geno boost every character. Geno boost if you time at the right time, and uh, if you time, if you press it at the right time, it'll up both their attack and defense. So this is one of Gino's best moves in the game. Like it's it's didn't Mario's using the punch glove is doing nearly 200 damage. So uh, if we thought peak him, he doesn't have any weaknesses, but he has a thousand HP. So uh, I think he also has an immunity to super jump, if I remember correctly. Mal's attacks up and defense is up. Oh, we took out those bombs too. And Mal is actually doing 80 damage, so that's really solid. Not bad, not bad. Now let's level things up. But yeah, Gino's gonna Gino with himself, and we'll, all, we'll be all armored up. Mal actually, hold on a second. We can't, we're not trying to take out those bombs just yet. Yeah, if you, though, you don't want those bombs attacking you, though. But it didn't do that much damage to Gino. Grr. All right, you asked for it. Now the bomb, bomb, the bombs are bigger. I did 150 damage. Gino, finish him off. Mario, finish him off. I must be dreaming. I'm ruined. I don't want to do this, but now I have no choice. I think he's bluffing. Come down, Fluffy. I'm not going to waste this on you. Who knows what ha happened? Take your best shot. Enough. I got my pride. Now you're in for it. Huh? What the heck? It, why isn't it working? No! Mario! If this thing explodes, we're history. This is a fine mess. Let's scram now. Uh, it's gonna blow! No! But of course they survived the explosion. What on earth was that? We won the battle, but I hope we don't lose the war. We're dynamite in the star. Come on, Mario, hurry. And that's another star animation. We still have to find Dinah and Might. Ah, oh, this won't budge. Ah, oh, I hate this stupid thing. Help me here. Give me the minecart push. Here to read the warning? Of course. All right, minecart guidelines. Press A to break. Press B to jump. Pr get get mushrooms and press X to accessory. Yeah, so yeah, basically what it means you don't want to go to the uh, bottom part, so um... 
Your art, I wouldn't suggest like, what they mean by excellent celery is when you have mushrooms, they let you go faster. So let's just say, um, I say break it turned. Like, um, there's not really like a specific time challenge for this, even though you can go, I think you, you can go back and do this later. Yeah, sharp turns like that, you want to slow down. Just avoid the dirt, but um, I think you can do this faster in the remake. I don't know. I think it's slower in the original. Yeah, and the more mushrooms you have, the faster you can go, basically. I like to collect mushrooms on the uh, the uh, mine portion, because there's going to be a separate portion of this. Um, I like to use the mushrooms on, like, straight, straight places like that, basically. Yeah, we did a 57 second first lap, and anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna dump mushrooms and basically gain more. I like to dump all my mushrooms on side-scrolling portions like this. So as long as you're holding the directional button, you won't go in the, you won't go in the, uh, you won't go in this dirt, basically. I don't know what that was. I probably should have braked. Actually, yeah, you can also change like that. You also change tracks like that if you're in a right spot. So I, this one's probably harder to get, you just get more mushrooms. I guess that route was, I don't know, I think that route might have been quicker. I don't think I've ever taken this route before. I think it's actually slower, come to think of it. Well, I use a mushroom and then I get in the dirt, but um, I think this, I think we're almost at the end. So this might have been quicker. Yeah, I think this might have been quicker. I don't know. I, normally, I'm like at 240 seconds in this side. I think that is a quicker route if you can go through it properly. So yeah, we're basically going to dump all our mushrooms so we can get out of here faster. And eventually, it's going to go like really slow. And then like that, we're going down and we... I'm unenthusiastic in that kind of cutscene, but they kind of altered that final bit in the remake. I wonder how those kids are doing. Sure, we should hurry home. Hold your horses, Ma. I asked Mario to help us out. I reckon he'll bring him back when he's good and ready. I have this odd feeling they'll be dropping in on us anyway. It's still easy to like anyone else more. Just settle down. And we go through the roof. We're home. Gracious, they really did drop in on us. Oh my poor babies, are you okay? Little mite, are you hurt? Now we're okay, Mars. Is that right, mite? We had fun. Come on, Papa. He's been knocked senseless, you poor baby. You safe now. Dinah, how did I told you enough to never go in the mines by yourself? That's enough, Mom. Just be happy to have him back. Why we haven't thanked Mario properly either. I'm so embarrassed, Mario. We can't think of enough for everything. What's that? The roof you say? No, it don't matter none. Not right, Puff? You need nothing at all. Just leave it in to me. Give me a holler and you can like, get a hand in place. Thank you for bringing me to us. Now, um... I'm Dinah, Mike, and a star piece, but where's Peach? Come back, Mr. Beetle. Don't you want to come to Boosters and play? Yeah, don't run away. We just want to play to take good care of you. Uh, like what they said. Okay, Mr. Beetle. Go 
Don't you dare touch that beetle. It's a present for Booster. That's it. Just That's right. Just hand over nice and easy. Uh, yeah, like I said, or we won't be your friend. Booster really, really likes these beetles, but he can't get his own. That's right. He's busy keeping the princess from the sky unretained. So we're catching beetles for him. So hand it over. That's right. Uh, pretty please? Oh no, it's getting away! Quick, catch it! Catch it! Well, we know where Peach is now. So I'll cut it off for this part of Super Mario RPG. So next time Super Mario RPG, we're going to find out where Peach is. See you guys then.